Uh, day seven is always my favorite day when I hear the cheers when we're riding in. And I also think about the young man that I uh, ride for. His name is John Sims. Uh, he was my best friend and first friend that I lost from HIV and AIDS. Louis and my brother John Sims, they went to UCI together, UC Irvine. And Louis was a member of the UC Irvine Gospel Choir. He sang in the Gospel Choir. And my brother John was a director of the Gospel Choir. He died in 1988. Um, he died from complications due to AIDS. So here we are 20 years later since the passing of my brother, and my family was hosting a celebration of life memorial service in honor of my brother John. So I started getting in touch with a friend, and one of the people was Louis. And I told him about the service, and while he really wanted to come, what he informed me is that he was participating in the life cycle. It kind of just blew my mind. I just said, I need to be a part of this in some type of way, whether it's just seeing, meeting Louis there, seeing him cross that finish line. It was a very emotional day to know that there are still others thinking about John. I really did feel overwhelmed because I think it gave John a voice and it gave so many folks a voice and it was overwhelming to see again all of these participants making sure that those who were no longer among us and even those who are that we continue to remember that they need us and we need you we need you to continue to do these rides for the AIDS life cycle. And we need others to continue to donate and continue to support it. I'm right there behind you. I continue to ride so that I can see the end to HIV and AIDS. That's what it's all about.